Oh shit! Uh, don't look at that. So as you can see, I, I am doing important stuff right now. Good morning, new recruits, and welcome to the first alpha build of Rays. That is right. We had our first test last week on Wednesday, or, or the week before last week. I have been lazy and not put up a video, so I apologize for that. So this is going to be formally week 9 of development, but it's week 10 in chronological order. So, those of you who have not played this game, what are you doing? Why are you just sitting there? Uh, go ahead and ask me and I will send you a copy of the finished demo. Otherwise, if you, if you haven't played it, this video is going to be a massive spoiler, because I intend to show off the first level and all the features we worked on. With that said, there is a ready playable version. Just contact me if you want to try it. So, uh, first thing I've done is a little settings menu where I can just turn off all the needless uh, post-processing options that I've added without really thinking. Anti-aliasing, for example, seems to double the performance requirement, while for a 2D game it doesn't really do anything, so I don't know why I put it there in the first place. It seems to kill my computer literally as well, so I'm probably just going to remove that in a, in a build pretty soon. But so yeah. people during the test did not read this. I'm not sure if it me if it was the sense that they had a limited time in the queue or if uh, when they were testing or if it's just that we need to look into having a more engaging method of conveying background such as through cutscenes and dialogue instead of just these pre and pre level intro texts. So go ahead and pause if you want to read it otherwise I'm just gonna start the game. And here we are. We're here at the, in the tutorial zone with this harmless little light enemy type, which we can just bash with a three combo light hits. And shoot. The gun still works. And we can dodge. Which I have changed up a little bit so you can't dodge as far as you could before. Here, this is the first checkpoint, so if I restart now, I'm done with the tutorial and I respawn here and also the music changes from the tutorial theme that you heard before to the level 1 theme that's currently playing. And here comes my first little predicament. Uh, for those of you who saw my second or third video, please remind me, please Please tell me that my AI used to work back then, that, it would, that they would actually run around and chase me, because now they don't know, he's just standing there. He's waiting for me to get close to combat radius, so I can blow his brains out until he chases me. They don't seem to follow me around the level anymore, so something's up with that. And that happened during the test as well, so unfortunately people complained a lot that the AI behaved stupidly, but it's just that it's not behaving as it should, so I'm gonna have to look into that. just gonna run past a few of these enemies. The guy just hit me there as I said that. And just for the purpose of saving time, I'll just probably just hit them. This is going so well for me. There we go. Here is probably my favorite area of the stand up on the rooftop and you can have a nice overview of the cityscape in the background. A lot of people wanted to go up here asking themselves what was even up here, if there, but it turns out there was just nothing, so I guess since this is a relatively interesting area to go to, we're gonna have to put something interesting here that you can interact with later. No, just a little note to self there. And to our new almost feature complete enemy down here, the right place. Or the, the robotic right place. So I'm just gonna get these little enemies out of the way so I can fully demonstrate the capabilities of this monstrosity that we've created. 
show you though, as you might have already discerned from the title, we have sort of functioning multiplayer right now, or Martin has programmed fun sort of functioning multiplayer while I've just been sitting here doing nothing. So let me go to Unity and I'll show you that. Yeah, here we are. So here you see Ray's, our hero, with his green alien twin brother. It's just a reskin with a different color as of right now, but... Oh, and both players are mapped to the controller I noticed right now. But anyway, okay, let's just use the keyboard then. They can walk around independently. They can use their attacks. Uh, if I can remember which button there is. And this is competitive mode right here, so I can fight the other player. So that works. And there is cooperative mode as well, if it's this scene. So I believe we can complete the tutorial together. <laughs> yeah, we can just throw them in between us here. completely mirrored. So that's a bit fun. And so we can progress through the level together. I believe currently they do only attack one player. That's the green one because he's first in the scene hierarchy so the red one can just stand there. And then we can run through the game together. That's really cool. And it and it so it didn't take a lot of programming effort to do this either. It's a second character map to the to a separate input. So I believe we're, we're gonna make it so this works with true two controllers as well, so you can play it with two players. Right now, both of us have to use the keyboard, which is a bit annoying. the shit out of the boss here. <laughs> oh, this is so good. There we go. I just won the game by playing with myself cooperatively. 
uh, we need to, oh, we really need to to rebalance that to make sure the new level works with two players. But that is the state right now. Uh, as of right now, we are looking into fixing a lot of gate breaking bugs that we we encountered during the uh, during the demo. But we are also looking into just making it so that combat combat feels more satisfying. I want to ramp up the speed of this light attack since it's really a light attack. I think it's kind of slow now. And we want to extend the reach of it because people were a bit confused as to how far the whip actually reached. It's a bit too short right now. It's only like one or two player players in whip. And I kind of want to make it so that you, when you hold the shoot button, it goes up with the gun, and then you have to press right trigger consecutively to fire, and then you do like, and so you can like rapid fire. Among among some other things that we want to do, so stay tuned because these next few weeks we're really gonna work at stuff that's gonna make the game more fleshed out and actually enjoyable to play. As of right now, it's more it's more of a debug state right now, but we're working on it. So that's it. Check back next week to see how far we've gotten. And I'm going to leave you with these wise words here. Which are, don't do drugs, kids. They're very bad. Thank you. See you next week.